Hi, my name is Jessica Foster. I'm a lead SEO copywriter and content strategist at keysandcopy.com. And in this video, we're talking about a very exciting topic, SEO copywriting. SEO copywriting is super important when it comes to driving traffic to your website, but there's still a lot of confusion about what it is and how to do it right. In this video, I'm talking about the ins and outs of SEO copywriting, some techniques to get started, and how to drive more traffic to your website with great content. At the end of this video, I'll be sharing some of my secret SEO copywriting techniques that are guaranteed to drive more traffic to your website and keep your readers engaged. So be sure to watch this video until the very end to catch all of those strategies and drive more traffic to your blog. And if you're new here, give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to get notified every time a new video goes live. I talk about SEO content tips and more. So what is SEO copywriting and why does it matter for your website? Keep watching. First things first, let's talk about the definition of SEO copywriting. So SEO copywriting is a type of copywriting that involves optimizing your web pages, focusing on targeted keywords to drive traffic to your website through search engines. I know that might sound like a mouthful, but in a nutshell, SEO copywriting involves optimizing your website with amazing content that's going to attract in more visitors. The whole point of SEO copywriting is to write content that appeals to real people, but is also optimized for search engines, namely Google. Now, many people think that SEO copywriting is really about plugging different keywords into your content, but it's so much more than that. We're finding that SEO copywriting is more about creating amazing content that's of interest to your audience and using keywords in the right way. That's to say that keyword density is becoming less important and the amount of value you provide to your audience is becoming more important. SEO copywriting matters for website owners because it's not just enough to plug and play keywords into your website. You need to write content that's interesting to your audience and is ultimately going to convince them to convert into a subscriber, a lead, a customer, or a client. Ultimately, you're trying to craft content that answers their query better than any other content out there. So to get started, the three elements of SEO copywriting are keyword research, content planning, and content creation. The first element of keyword research involves finding the keywords that your audience is looking for to find content like yours. I highly recommend using paid SEO keyword research tools like SEMrush in order to find high volume, low competition keywords. Now keyword research for SEO is such a big topic, so make sure you check out my latest video about SEO keyword research where I go more in depth on how to find the best keywords for your website. But know that what matters more than the keyword itself is the intent behind the search. In other words, ask yourself what the user is trying to accomplish when they Google that keyword. Your goal then is to create content that suits what the user is actually looking for when they search for that term. Now the second element of SEO copywriting is content planning. So once you find the right keywords for your website, you want to plan out your content. This basically involves deciding what type of content you're going to create for each keyword. I like to use Google Sheets to map out all of my keywords and the title tags, meta descriptions, and more to basically plan out my content for months at a time. Again, in my latest keyword research guide, I map out how to do this exactly using Google Sheets. Know that before you ever start creating new content, you should do some research into what's already ranking for that target keyword. Look at the competing sites and see how they're talking about this topic. Then consider how you can create content that's better than what's already ranking. Also, you want to write content that's suited to your particular audience. So even though some information might be included in a competing website, that doesn't mean it's the best fit for your audience. Use your best judgment in deciding what content is relevant to your audience and what's going to provide the most value to them. Now the third and final element of SEO copywriting is of course writing the content itself. This is the part that most people get stumped on because they have this idea that you have to include a certain number of keywords in a certain particular way in the content in order to get it to rank. And while there is some validity to using focus keywords throughout your article, you don't need to force your keywords into the content in order to increase your rankings. Basically, the goal is to include your focus and related keywords throughout your content as naturally as possible. When there is an opportunity to include your keyword, you do want to include it, but don't force it in there if it doesn't make sense or just sounds awkward. Some important areas where you might want to consider using your focus or related keywords are in the title tag, the meta description, 
throughout the body content of your article and in the headings. Of course, there are tons of SEO content optimization tools that can help you use keywords in the right way and craft content that's ultimately competitive with what's already ranking. In the description, I've included a link to my top 20 SEO content tools. Make sure you check that out and those will help you create your best SEO content. One of my favorite SEO content tools is SEMrush, which is a keyword research tool, which also includes competitor analysis, backlink research, and so much more. Are you liking this video so far? Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already so you can get notified every time I release more videos about SEO content and keyword research. One of the last points I wanna hit when it comes to SEO copywriting is what it means to create engaging content. Engaging is a word that's thrown around a lot in the content creation and SEO communities, but let's define it. So when it comes to content, engaging means anything that's going to entice users to take some kind of action on your content. Ultimately, your goal with SEO copywriting is not just to drive traffic to your site, but also get users to take action, whether that means subscribing to your newsletter, signing up for services, or buying your products. Most of us invest in SEO not just to get traffic, but ultimately to make more money through our websites. In SEO copywriting, creating engaging content means giving your readers opportunities to opt in, sign up, comment, and otherwise engage with your content. A few ways to increase engagement on your content is to include free downloadables where users can opt in for upgraded content or by including social share buttons that encourage them to share your content across social media. Now, since you've made it this far, it's time to talk about the three SEO copywriting techniques that are guaranteed to send more traffic to your website. These are techniques that I use for my own website and for my clients that work to drive more traffic and generate more leads. The first SEO copywriting technique is repurposing your content for multiple platforms. Just because you publish an article on your blog doesn't mean it needs to stay there. If you sit around waiting for traffic to come to your site, it might take a while and ultimately you're not getting the most life out of your content. That's why I recommend repurposing your content in multiple forms across a variety of platforms. This might mean turning your blog article into a five-day email series, turning it into a video tutorial like this, or taking chunks of your content and sharing it as individual posts across social media. All of these things can work to drive more traffic to your blog and increase more awareness across multiple platforms. That's to say that your blog article does not have to just sit on your blog waiting to attract organic traffic. You can repurpose your content to attract traffic from all different channels. The second secret SEO copywriting technique that I use to drive more traffic is by creating roundup posts. Roundup posts are basically listicles that list out the top X number of things for a particular topic or a roundup of different experts from a particular industry. Studies show that posts that have a number in the headline are 34% more effective than any other headline. So if you create a roundup post, you're more likely to get click-throughs from search engines and also outrank the competition. Another benefit of roundup posts, if you're collecting information from industry experts, is that those experts featured in the article are likely to link back to your website, which overall improves your website's SEO. You can reach out to industry experts to get featured in your roundup post and then encourage them to share the article across all of their social media platforms. In creating a roundup post, I recommend that you include more features in the article than what's already ranking for that term. That way, when people see it in the search results, they're likely to click on it because it has more tips than what's already ranking. And the final SEO copywriting technique that I use is guest posting. By guest posting on outside high authority sites, you can drive traffic and backlinks back to your website. I find guest posting opportunities by going through industry related Facebook groups and seeing who is posting about different guest posting opportunities. You can also use websites like helpareporterout.com, which is a platform where publications are looking for industry experts to contribute their expertise, gain some publicity, and hopefully get a backlink back to their website. Just know that if you're guest posting on outside sites, it should be a high authority site that's reputable, not a spammy site, and that you're publishing high quality content in hopes of improving your rankings and getting a backlink back to your site. Even if you don't get a backlink back to your site through guest posting, it's still an opportunity to possibly drive more traffic to your site from a larger website. 
I do not recommend doing a link swap, which involves you linking to an article and that article linking straight back to your site. This can raise some alarms with Google who thinks you're building out an unnatural link building strategy. You can also get some additional visibility if that website shares your article across their social media platforms. There's so much more to what SEO copywriting is and how to do it right, but hopefully you found this video valuable to getting started finding the right keywords for your content, planning your content, and writing content that's suited for users and for search engines. If you want more information about how to do SEO copywriting the right way, be sure to visit my website at keysandcopy.com. I share loads of tips about SEO copywriting, keyword research, and content marketing. Thanks again for visiting my channel. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified every time I publish a new video. Are you doing SEO copywriting for your site? Leave your questions in the comments below so I can provide some additional tips and helpful videos to help you on your SEO content journey. See you later.